This is the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk. A Black Knight freshman is already trying to break records. The Rumble Ponies are partnering up to fight hunger, and a Red Dragon is flying the highest in the Empire 8. This is the Sports Desk. It's not often that a ninth grader takes home the 12 Sports Athlete of the Week award, but hey, when you're trying to break school records and doing so without even knowing, yeah, exceptions can be made. Elsie Conway is exceptional on the field hockey turf, and she is also the WBNG Athlete of the Week. We came out, she had a goal in the first quarter, and then um, Elsie scored another four in the second quarter. So it was, it was unbelievable. Um, so she had all five goals in the game in the first half. That performance by Elsie Conway against Walton was good enough to tie a school record for most goals in a single game. So what was working for the center forward? I think it was more just like adrenaline. I got into a flow state and then it just kept coming, the aggression. I think I tried to push up the field as much as possible in a forward position and I think it ended up working out. That may be putting it lightly, but the Black Knight wasn't even aware of her accomplishment. I didn't even know it was a record until after the game and I was just surprised because I saw the post on Instagram and then I was like, oh, that's cool. I didn't really know it was a thing until after. And neither did head coach Taylor Lapolis, which may have prevented Conway from taking the record. Unfortunately, it's, it's probably my fault. I did not realize that that was the record at the time because um, I made her play defense the rest of the game. Because, you know, having five goals in one half, I said you're playing center back then for the rest of the game. So it's, you know, quite possibly could have had a, a six goal, but I guess we'll never know. But as a freshman, Elsie knows she'll have more opportunities to hopefully take that record. Back three more years after this, so I have time to keep improving. As for being named 12 Sports Athlete of the Week? I think it's cool. I think I more just love the game, and I mean, the attention is cool, but it's not the most important thing. What is the most important thing? I want to ring. I want to go to states, and I want to take what we started last year, and I just want to play my best and do what I can and play my part on the team, and hopefully we can go pretty far this season. The Black Knights are off to a good start as they currently sit at 7-1 on the season. In Broome County, Michael Villegas, 12 Sports. In an effort to raise awareness during Hunger Action Month and to provide the local community with some fresh milk, the Rumble Ponies partnered with the American Dairy Association. The two groups presented a $2,500 check today to the Salvation Army. The donation is part of a part of the Fill the Glass with Hope campaign, the team auctioned off its Condores de Binghamton jerseys. Binghamton wore those threads for three games this season, a part of baseball's Hispanic Fan Engagement Initiative, and this month is part of that as well. Salvation Army Captain Joseph Hansen says that the donation will go a long way to providing dairy products across the tier. This donation is going to go a long way for our food insecurity programs and buying dairy for our, our clients who do not have that as a as a staple in their diet and this will go a long way to providing that according to the usda more than 47 million people in the u.s live in food insecure households and in new york one in seven people face hunger insecurity with almost 750,000 of them being children and finally as the red dragons are off for a week after a 3-0 start, another key piece to Cortland's success is being recognized by the Empire 8 as its Player of the Week. Jaden Alfano St. John took home the Empire 8 Special Teams Player of the Week award after the team's win over Susquehanna. The senior took a first quarter kickoff to the house. 100 yards, only the third time in program history that's happened. And it was a part of Cortland's comeback win all day. On five returns, Alfano St. John racked up 193 total return yards. Uh, there's been a lot of good news in sports today. I'm, I'm happy to hear all of it. Uh, it's, well, you're in a title <laughs> town here. I, I mean, know. the Black Bears are defending cup champions. <laughs> Rumble Ponies made to the playoffs. Two-time co uh, Commissioner Cup for uh, the Binghamton uh, Bearcats. And, yeah. I mean, Section 4 is just littered with teams that have a chance to win state championships from yeah. Waverly, uh, Shenango Forks looks real good, folks, in football. <laughs> and, of course, Maine and Well, they uh, 
their yeah. power. So yeah, great you, stuff. You're in a you're in a title town, that yeah. is for sure. Well, thank you, Zach. And a quick update to what we told you about at the start of the show: State's Route 17 in Appalachian area is now back open in both directions. We we'll to bring you more details tonight on those crashes that led to the closure. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.